Happening right now, family and friends pleading for help in finding a missing 16-year-old. News 2's Katie Turner joins us live from the Charleston Police Department, the headquarters. And Katie, loved ones asking that the teenager just come home and for everyone to help assist in the search. Yeah, Brennan, the group has been searching for Diavion Corbett for several days, and now they're getting more and more worried about what might happen if she doesn't come home soon. Please come home. It's not worth all it is. 16 year old Diavion Corbett has been missing since Tuesday, May 4th. Her family hasn't been able to sleep since. We've been up all night. We've been up all morning. We have not really slept. The North Charleston Police Report states Corbett was last seen on a car to bus wearing a white shirt, black fleece jacket, lime green shorts, and white sandals. Her hair could be pulled back or in a puff, whichever way. Um, she does have glasses that are clear and purple. According to the report, they are investigating this case as a runaway. Police say the teen left after a heated argument with a family member, saying she felt, quote, like nobody was on her side. Right now, we just care about your safety and your well-being, and anything can be worked out. We need you to come home. As each day passes, her family's desperation increases, especially knowing that her health could be at risk. Please, anybody, she has sickle cell, she can catch a seizure. We need to know where she is. If you know where she is, if you've seen her, please call us. Community members say their anxiety is also growing after a similar situation in Columbia ended in the worst way possible. We must start having honest conversations. In light of last week's event, where a young queen who had been missing for three weeks was found dead in Columbia. Now, as they reach out to Diavion, hoping she comes home if she's able to, they're asking the community to stand together as a part of their family. We need you to understand this is real life and other kids are becoming missing and some don't make it home. Anything can be worked out. Anyone with information is asked to contact police, and we have more details over on our website, countonto.com. For now, live in downtown Charleston, I'm Katie Turner, Count on Two.